Hey everyone, in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to make your computer run faster. Um, there's a number of reasons why your computer is running slow um, right now. It has a lot to do with just things that build up on your on your system over time. Um, some of those things include uh, just system errors that keep that keep happening that happen because you install and uninstall programs. There's files, um, junk files, temporary files that clog up your memory that clog up your hard drive. Um, there's programs that are coming up on your startup that, that are causing your, your computer to, to even boot slow. And then a lot of times it could even be a virus or, or something that installed with uh, some of that kind of, some of that free kind of sh shareware stuff. A lot of times we'll uh, put some type of adware or malware um, on your computer. So th the tool that you see on your screen is the one that I recommend. It's at uh, regcureprofessional.com which you can see up here in the address bar, or you can click the link below this video, and it'll take you to this page. And this computer, this software does fixes pretty much everything that slows down your computer, and that's why I like it so much. Uh, the other reason is they are a Microsoft uh, application development partner, which means that they work with Microsoft to make sure that their software is compatible. It also gives them, to me, a little bit more um, authority as far as knowing that they're partnering with somebody that actually makes your operating system. Um, it is Windows 8 compatible and it's backwards compatible for all versions of Windows. So I've already started a scan with the software. Just, I just want to want you guys to see what it does when it when it runs the scan. Okay, this scan took about uh, uh, probably two or three minutes and it, it ran into um, a bunch of different types of problems. So what you see on the first line here are system system problems. Um, these are caused by active Act, active X, um, different system uh, registry type issues. Registry issues happen when you install and uninstall software. So it's showing a bunch of problems in this area. Um, the next one is is malware, whether you have any type of viruses or anything that's on your computer. Uh, it scans for these performance problems um, by um, kind of killing any processes that are running that aren't doing you any good. Um, privacy items, it, it just detects all those type of things um, that may be stored in Windows that, you know, somebody could get access to, especially through a virus. Um, but you want to keep those clean also. And then the final thing that it did a scan for with junk files, and you can see it's, in my case, it's 1.39 gigabyte, which is a lot. <laughs> Uh, 2,937 files that's showing over here. So, but that's the kind of stuff that will will clog up your computer and cause it to run slow. So, once it completes the scan, you click on the fix all button down here. Um, it will ask you to register the software um, in order to uh, clean the problems. But the, the good thing is you can go ahead, you can download it, you can run it, and you can see what if you have a bunch of problems like I do on this particular PC. Um, I'm going down the buttons over here. Uh, there's different restore points you can you can set up. That's kind of an advanced technique. Uh, tools. The process manager is is good because um, I was going to ask for registration there, but um, the process manager lets you um, ma manage your processes. You can kill things that aren't working. The startup manager actually lets you select which programs you want to boot on startup, and that that can uh, fix things. File manager helps you manage uh, some of those junk files. Uh, a defrag is always good to do. That cleans up your memory and your hard drive. Um, so those are those are the type of things uh, that the software allows you to do even after you do your first scan. You get everything cleaned up. Your computer is running great. You come back in a few months and you can you know you can run it again periodically. And it does allow you to go ahead and, and schedule those scans too. So you can do it regularly so you don't have to constantly think about it. So I hope this helped and good luck.